Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on the financial statements income statement. In our previous lesson, we have seen the six column worksheet and profit loss analysis. Let me remind you some of the main points. Fiscal period is the period covered by financial reports. The five sections of a six column worksheet the trial balance is a report listing the ending debit and credit balances in all accounts at the end of a reporting period. Let's begin today's lesson with the meaning and types of financial statement. One of the final steps in the accounting cycle is the preparation of the financial statements. Financial statements are a collection of reports about an organization's financial results and condition. Companies prepare three basic types of financial statements from the summarized accounting data. An income statement presents the revenues and expenses and resulting net income or net loss for a specific period of time. An owner's equity statement summarizes the change in owner's equity for a specific period of time. A balance sheet reports the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity at a specific date. The purpose of these statements is to help users make better decisions. Students, in today's lesson, our discussion will focus only on income statement. The income statement is the first financial statement you prepare at the end of the accounting cycle. The income statement may be defined as a summary of the revenue or income, expenses, and net income of a business entity for a specific period of time. This may also be called a profit and low statement, an operating statement, or a statement of operations. Students, investors, and creditors can use the information in the income statement for the following purpose. Evaluate the past performance of the enterprise. By examining revenues and expenses, you can tell how the company performed and compare its performance to its competitors. Provide a basis for predicting future performance. Information about past performance can be used to determine important trends that, if continued, provide information about future performance. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes.
students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now do it together. The income statement reports a company's income or loss for a specific period. The income statement reports a business's performance for the period. Students, now let us discuss sections of an income statement. The income statement has three main sections. Income, expense, and net income or net loss. Revenue is the amount of assets created through the sale of goods and services. For example, sell merchandise at supermarket, a photocopy service provided by Xerox Center, and a maintenance service provided by a garage for its customers' are revenues. Expenses are the amount of assets consumed through business operations. Expenses are the costs incurred in normal business operations to generate revenues. Employee salaries and utilities used during a period are two common examples of expenses. The difference found by subtracting the total operating expenses from the gross revenue of the business is known as the net income. Net income reflects the company's accomplishments or revenues in relation to its efforts or expenses during a particular period of time. In some instances, the total operating expenses may exceed the gross revenues. Should this occur, the difference between these two amounts would be known as net loss. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Briefly discuss the elements of an income statement. Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now do the activity together. An income statement has three elements. Revenues, expenses, and net income or net loss. Revenue is the amount of assets created through the sale of goods and services. Expenses are the amount of assets consumed through business operations. Net income reflects the company's accomplishments or revenues 
in relation to its efforts or expenses during a particular period of time. Students, now we need to prepare an income statement. Do you know that the information needed to prepare an income statement is found in three parts of the worksheet? Let us see it together. The fiscal period is the same as that shown on the worksheet heading. The income statement credit column of the worksheet. The income statement debit column of the worksheet. Students, five steps are followed in preparing the income statement. Each steps are explained as follows. Step 1. Prepare the heading. Write the heading on three lines. Center each item in the heading. The heading of the income statement of Haragoin Apoyes Beauty Salon includes Line 1. Name of the business Haragoin Apoye Beauty Salon Line 2. Name of the form income statement Line 3. Length of the accounting period for the month ended Maskaram 30, 2010. Step 2. Prepare the revenue section. This is an income section of an income statement. The information for preparing the income section of the income statement is obtained directly from the income statement credit column of the worksheet. Step 3. Prepare the expense section. This is the expense section of an income statement. Expenses are usually subdivided into selling and general or administrative expenses. Selling expenses are incurred as a direct result of the sales activities of the firm. Such items as salaries of sales clerk, advertising, and delivery costs are examples of selling expenses. General expenses are costs connected with the general operation of the business. Office salaries such as salary paid for a secretary, rent, taxes, and office supplies are examples of general or administrative expenses. The information for preparing the expense section of the income statement is obtained directly from the income statement debit column of the worksheet. Step 4. Figure out the net income or net loss. The amount of the net income shown on the income statement should of course agree with the amount of the net income shown on the worksheet. Step 5. Rule the income statement. Double lines are ruled across the amount columns to show that all work has been completed and is assured to be correct. Students, let's summarize all the steps we have discussed so far. Step 1. Prepare the heading. Step 2. Prepare the revenue section. Step 3. Prepare the expense section. Step 4. Figure out the net income or net loss. And Step 5. Rule the income statement. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. The table shows the items that are from the income statement columns of the worksheet for Abeba Repair Shop for the year ended Meskaram 30, 2005.
students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Ababa repair shop income statement for the year ended Meskaram 30, 2005. Revenues, repair revenue, 25,620. Expenses, wages expense, 8,110. Rent expense, 1,200. Supplies expense, 4,260. Insurance expense, 915. Total expense, 14,485. Net income, 11,135. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned financial statement. Special emphasis has been given to income statement. An income statement presents the revenues and expenses and resulting net income or net loss for a specific period of time. The income statement reports a business's performance for the period. The income statement has three main sections, income, expense, and net income or net loss. Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss the financial statements, capital statement. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students.